Today we're going to go through how to use the audio feedback function in the mTrigger device. So to start, audio is attached to channel 1, so I have it set up with one muscle on channel 1, and that's the one I'm going to receive audio feedback from. For today, we're going to go through a simple shoulder exercise utilizing the infraspinatus. So to start, I go into my device, I go into settings, I have it on single channel for the exercise today. My goal is set to about 700. Now that's where I'm going to receive audio feedback. So if I wanted audio feedback at a higher or a lower goal, I would adjust accordingly. I have my time settings right where I want them as well. And the most important thing is the toggle for audio is on. Then I can save it and go back to train. So I'm going to push play and he's going to demonstrate what this looks like. Good, and rest. This audio feedback can be used in several different ways. First of all, it can be used to reinforce visual feedback. It can also be used as a stand-in for visual feedback. Another great use is when you're trying to improve muscle timing. Finally, it can be used for compensation training.